Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today we have eight brand new diecasts to look over today. It's like a little mini diecast all here. So we got an assortment of a bunch of different cars from a bunch of different years. I think there's only two cars that are actually from the same year. So this is going to be pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and look at them in the packages really quick and explain why I got them. So this is a number five Casey Kane from 2017, the farmer's insurance car. I got this one because this was the scheme that Casey Kane ran when he won the very first NASCAR race that I watched. I am 99% sure they didn't make a race version of the 164. So I thought at least if I get this version, you know, it's good enough. And then the race version of the Brickyard 400 that he won. I cannot find those at all. <laughs> like, they're gone. So that sucks. But at least I have the same scheme he ran when I watched my very first NASCAR race. And that's what made me become a NASCAR fan. So, yeah, this scheme's uh, pretty special, iconic to me. And we also have a Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2008 Cot. I got this one because I actually don't have an actual driver from, like, the Cot era. Like, all I have is the promo die cast like I do have a 124 of Jeff Gordon's 2008 cop but that's it I don't have like a 164 of like an actual driver in a cop so I went ahead and got that uh, then we have Kevin Harvick's 1998 NASCAR West championship car I just got this because it was pretty cool that uh, Lionel made this uh, same thing with this one this one came out fairly recently too this is Jeff Gordon's 2000 Richmond win I believe uh, we'll double check that when we actually go and review the car out of the box when I got that, just because I thought it was cool. And they, you know, when Lionel makes these NASCAR classics, I always get them just because they're super cool to get. Then we have a number 15 Clint Boy here for Michael Waltrip Racing. I just wanted to get uh, one of the older Toyota models just because the only ones I have are like the newer, you know, 2017 plus Camrys. So, you know, I want to get an old one. I do have a 124 of an Arca car from, that uses the 2013-2014 Camry. This one's a 2015 one but yeah i got it just because i wanted to get a different type of camry plus it's a pretty cool iconic scheme uh it's very similar to the spin gate one so that's pretty funny then i got this one to complete my collection that i have going on right now of the christmas cars that sam bass made uh then we have two from uh 2021 this is chase briscoe circle b diecast 04 car that he ran for Roper Racing. Then this is Tyler Ankrum's 26 truck, also sponsored by Circle B Diecast, and I thought that was a really cool scheme. And it will complete my uh, GMS Racing little collection I have going on here. So now I have every number truck for GMS and all the trucks total that they've made so far. I have every single number, not driver, but I have every single number that they've made so far. So anyways, let's go ahead and get all these out of the packages. All right, so here they all are out of the packages, looking really, really cool. Lots of bright paint schemes here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Casey Kane car first. All right, so here it is. It's nothing really special to other people. It's just special to me. Um, so <laughs> that's the whole reason why I got this, just because it's special to me. Uh, the nice, good old farmer's insurance ride. You know, it's a really nice paint scheme, to be honest. Like, it's really slick. I love that little, like, the arrow design pointing down, the little splash of red at the end there. Looks really clean, not gonna lie. Really, really solid looking paint scheme, really cool. And it does come with a hood. It's been a long time since I've had one of these. Just because Lionel's gotten lazy nowadays and they're just putting stickers in. This is the good stuff. This is what we want, Lionel. But anyways, yeah, this is really nice. I really like that. And, you know, it's just a nice iconic scheme for me since he ran it in the first race that I ever saw. And it's what made me an NASCAR fan. So, yeah. Just had to get it. Hopefully, I can maybe find the 124 of the race version of the Brickyard 400 win one day. But, uh, yeah. Till then, I got this one. And to compare it with, I do have two other of his schemes from 2017. Uh, his Great Clips throwback and his Unifirst car. It's just a little group of Casey Kane cars there looking pretty cool. And let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so moving on to another car with the hood, and this one's actually even better. I don't know what happened to the quality of NASCAR diecast, but it has gone down. So this one does come with another hood, but the really cool thing about this one is it's a regular hood, and it has magnets on the back, which still work, um, which is really cool. You can stick it onto a magnet board or something, something metal, and it's really cool. It's a little bit heavier, but, you know, it's going to be expected because of the magnets, and yeah, it's really cool. 
I like it. It's plastic, pretty good quality. Looks nice. Has like the same like reflective kind of paint. Not as much, but still really nice. I don't know why they can't keep doing this. Like this is great. It even has like indentations on the hood too. I don't think this one's just flat. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, no, this one's pretty much flat, but this one has some more like indentation on it. That's really nice. That's a nice touch. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So that's really cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this die cast. Lots of people like this paint scheme. This or like any of like this sponsor, the Amp Energy Mountain Dew car from this from 2008 to 2012. People really like this paint scheme and I really like it too. I love the green like it, the green is spot on. It looks perfect like that nice shiny green looks really nice. Contrasting with the white and the red numbers looks really cool. The white number on top is great. The National Guard logos. Black on the back, just solid. Solid all around, and it's got the wing. I love the wing. <laughs> like, even though it was really bad for the cars, just because it would make them easier to flip over, you know, it's just, it's it's cool. <laughs> so that's why I like it so much. But yeah, really, really cool looking car. Let's go ahead and compare it with a few of my other cots that I have with the wing. So there we go, got my little cot collection going on here. Nice and strong. These are from the last uh, die cast haul video. This one I've had for a really long time, since 2008 actually, I think. So these are as old as each other. I mean, technically, they're all old. It's just this, I bought it back when it was like brand new, and then these are just new in package. So yeah, technically, they're all about as old as each other. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to, oh, actually, I do have one Dale Jr. Mountain Dew car to compare it with. I don't have any of his other ones, but I do have this one that Lionel made in the Checkers or Wreckers line, just for a quick little comparison. Definitely like this scheme better, but I love the effort that they try to put into this race version. I love race versions like this. They're so cool. Anyways, now we can go ahead and move on to the next diecast. All right, so next up we have uh, this Clint Boyer car from 2015 for Michael Waltrip Racing on the old 2015-2016 style Camry. Uh, I got this one just like I said earlier. Um, you know, I never had this version of the Camry, so I thought I might as well go ahead and get it. Plus, you know, this I like this paint scheme. I love the silver rims, the red, the black, the yellow. Looks really cool. It's a nice solid scheme. I mean, this is probably the best one from like that era that I could find for a good price. Like this was only like seven bucks. So that's why I got it. Like the rest like that are like, you know, more, maybe more iconic schemes or like just maybe better ones were obviously a lot more expensive because they're more rare. Plus this one's also the youth version because it's sponsored by Clint Boyer, not by Five Hour Energy. But you know, it's still cool nonetheless to have. You got the nice chunky Camry tail lights on the back. <laughs> yeah, still pretty solid. We can go ahead and compare it actually with, let me grab it right here, a more modern day Toyota Camry. Just to see the differences, see which one I prefer. Because a lot of people say that this one was their favorite, but I don't know, I really like this one. It's just nice, clean, sharp, looks like a, looks like a race car, you know? Nothing really too different on the side, the back. I mean, this one probably feels more like a race car, like on the back. Like, it feels more like a NASCAR stock car on the back of this one than this one does. But on the front, this one just feels more aggressive, more mean. This one feels more like, you know, a NASCAR stock car. This one, this one's still pretty good, too. It's pretty good, but I do prefer this one overall, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, so we're back at it again with another cut, but this one is from 2011, so not the ones with the wing, because uh, I'm trying to get a collection complete here. So this is a holiday Christmas car designed by Sam Bass. And I'm like, that's really cool. I don't know why they don't keep doing these cut types of things. They're super cool. They're nice, fun, little cool paint schemes that you can get. Really, really cool. I like these. Like, I will put these on display for Christmas. <laughs> but anyways, I'm trying to complete my collection here. So I have two other ones right here. We have one from 2010 and one from 2006. So yeah, that's why I got this one. Literally the only reason. And I, it's also a cot and it was cheap because it's one of those like random ones. 
that they just make. And, you know, it was only 7 bucks too, so I was like, hey, you know what? Might as well get it to complete this collection going on here, so, yeah, why not? Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next diecast. I mean, nothing else much to say about it other than it's just a really cool-looking diecast. I mean, come on, Sam Bass made it, so it's obviously going to be great. Yeah, just get a good look at that. It looks really nice. I love the stars. The stars, the color choices on all of them are superb. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. All right, so moving on, we have Kevin Harvick's number 75 um, NASCAR West Championship car. So, for those who don't know, um, this is basically what the, the ARCA West series is now, and previously the NASCAR K&N series before NASCAR bought ARCA. So yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's essentially the ARCA West car now, um, but back then it was just the NASCAR West car. And yeah, this is pretty cool to have. This is uh, more made from made in modern times, but the car itself and the mold and stuff are back from 1998. This was also the same scheme he ran in the truck, same scheme and number. Sponsored by Sears, it's a pretty solid looking car. It looks really nice. It's got the Hoosier tires too, which is pretty cool. And yeah, overall, a solid looking car. And I love that Lionel actually put like the blue interior on the inside. They didn't have to do that, but they did. So that's a nice touch. I don't know, like Lionel's inconsistent. Sometimes they do really cool things and sometimes they do really bad things. I have no clue why. But yeah, overall, pretty solid car. Looks cool. Nice to add to the collection. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Actually, let me just grab two of my ARC cars here since it technically is one now. Just to show you guys and now we can go to move on to the next one all right so they made this one pretty out of the blue lionel like i literally saw it like for sale now and i was like what the heck <laughs> so they made this it's a raced version jeff gordon's 2000 richmond race win i don't know what was so significant about that race i don't know if you guys know in the comments down below was it like something really special like from what i saw people were like why'd they make this one there was nothing special about it so i don't know maybe if you guys know because i have no clue but yeah it's his raced version win from richmond and it's also inaccurate which is pretty funny so i'll go ahead and grab another one of my jeff gordon die casts here so they completely left out the automotive finishes from the car like that's why it looks so plain in the back right here completely forgot about the automotive finishes they either forgot or they weren't allowed to or something something's up but yeah i thought that was pretty strange and also it's obviously missing a bunch of these like little sponsorship things here surprised i couldn't get some of those i mean they got ea sports they got ea sports let's see nomex mac tools bowman what huh that's pretty interesting but i guess they could have gotten GMAC. GMAC is ally now. They couldn't get those right so well. They couldn't get Quaker State either. Let's see. I have another one here. Yeah, Quaker State, GMAC. Would have been nice if they were able to get the permission to do that. Let's see. Haas. Come on. Frosted Mini Wheats, Kellogg's, Pedigree, GMAC. Let's see. Yeah, Haas. I mean... I guess maybe just branding. They don't want their things on Hendrick cars anymore, I guess. Cause it's a Ford team now. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that, it's still nice nonetheless, you know. Nice to add to the collection. This is also... This is the body style that I have the most of. From the Gen 4 era. So that's why I wanted to get it. Just because if I have time, I would like to do a stop motion with like the two with the early 2000s style gen 4 cars so like this style 2000 2001 2002 i think also the 1999 cars look like this too like with this like little funky headlight thing going on here where it's like uneven like it has that little like circle bump in it thing going on but yeah who knows maybe i will maybe i won't it just depends on if i have time or not but uh yeah let's go ahead and move on to the next diecast all right, so next up we have a pretty bright, colorful paint scheme here. Got neon yellow, blue, pink, and some black. Uh, this is Tyler Ankrum's 2021 number 26 car, sponsored by Circle B Diecast right here. This is a pretty cool looking truck. 
I really like this one. Like, I remember when they first unveiled it, I was like, wow, that one's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty solid looking truck. Got Tyler Ankrum on the back there. But yeah, I mean, I got it because I wanted to complete my GMS racing collection here. I probably have to get another 24 just so that the font matches all the way. I'll probably end up getting Elliot's A-Shock truck. Um, whichever one's cheaper. I'm pretty sure either the A-Shock, his, either the iRacing A-Shock or Hooters car. Whichever one's the cheapest, that's the one I'll end up getting. But yeah. I uh, got the whole GMS lineup. I mean, now it's just the 23 and the 24 nowadays, uh, which sucks. Like, GMS just went downhill all of a sudden this season. They cut back on trucks. They're running worse most of the time. And uh, the cup effort that they have going on with Petty GMS is meh at best. I mean, Eric Jones has been pretty solid. Um, Ty Dillon can, has been okay at times, but... Yeah, no, I think merging with Petty kind of kind of messed up what they had going on in trucks, I feel. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. But, yeah, pretty cool to have. <laughs> They're all basically sponsored by Circle B Diecast, which is pretty funny. Well, let's go to move this out the way. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is also my first Tyler Income truck as well, so that's pretty nice. And, yeah, let's go to move on to the next and final diecast of the day. All right, so the last and final diecast for the day is Chase Briscoe's number 04 Circle B diecast truck right here. I'm pretty sure this was the one he ran at the Bristol Dirt Race. I'm 80% sure. Uh, correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong, but I'm 80% sure this was the one he ran for the Bristol Dirt Race. But yeah, this is pretty cool. This is the first uh, truck I believe they've ever made for Roper Racing, so that's pretty cool. I always uh, loved that team. Like, ever since I got, I think they were battling for the win at Daytona. I think it was last year, actually, where they were battling for a win um, at Daytona. And I think they ended up getting third because then uh, I think it was Jordan Anderson and Ben Rhodes uh, finished 1-2. They passed him at the last second or something. But, yeah, always been rooting for that team ever since just because they were so close to getting a win. And yeah, it's a nice truck to have really cool looking paint scheme. Like, this is really solid. The only thing that, like, kind of ruins it is, like, all the names on the back. But, I mean, let's see. Oh, Reddit. That's why. There's so many people. Yeah, I mean, that kind of ruins the, like, look of it, I feel. Like, if it just would have been, like, Circle B diecast, but then you have a whole bunch of stuff going on. But, you know, it's nice to give tribute to, I guess, the people. But yeah, I mean, that, it kind of throws it off a little bit for me. But I mean, it's still cool nonetheless. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, really cool looking paint scheme. It looks really sharp. I love those like little like sharp edges that they have going on there. And then the roundness. It looks really cool. I love paint schemes like that. They're, they always come out looking super cool, super clean. Back's a little plain, but I'll give it a pass since like it swoops up into that. And it's not just plain on the back. So I'll go to pass for that, but like, you know, if they would have done something like, you know, some of like these little like jagged edges, like, you know, poking back up on here, that would have been nice. Nice little touch. Same thing up here. Maybe some like things going up. I don't know. But yeah, still overall pretty, pretty solid truck. Looks really cool. I love what they did up here on the roof number. A little circle going on here. That is so clean. It like reminds you of the Circle B Diecast logo. Oh, I think... That's what that's supposed to be. Those like little jagged edges are supposed to be like the Circle B diecast logo. I think I just realized that now. That's actually really cool. So I do only have one thing to compare it to, and that's my only ch other Chase Briscoe diecast, and it's his High Point car from 2021. So we'll just do a quick little comparison. The 04 and the 14 right there. Looks pretty cool. And yeah, let's go ahead and move that out the way. And without further ado, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which diecast was your favorite in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the channel partner Flow Sports if you subscribe using my custom link in the description. Uh, that'll help out the channel. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy and bye bye